Derek Freda, producer on this film, he sent me uh, the documentary on Action Park, this place in New Jersey, which is not even arguably the most dangerous theme park of all time. It is the most dangerous theme park of all time, hands down. It was complete anarchy. Action Point is um, an interesting place because it used to be a ski resort and a crazy person decided to build an amusement park on the side of a hill and make everything very steep and dangerous. But at the same time, it's also liberating. You know, it's about freedom of expression and freedom of being able to do things uh, and uh, being responsible for your own fun. Two months ago, this was just a grass hill, right, Tim? Our director, Tim Kirkby. Yeah, there's nothing here, nothing here. We looked everywhere for a park to film in, and everything's built so safe these days. There's no way to make them fun. So finally, we went to South Africa, and I'm like, just find me a hill with a flat part at the bottom. And it allowed us to actually take a, a completely open piece of land and, and build our own park from scratch. I wanted the Himalaya rise. I'm like, get me the Himalaya. It's one of those that goes round and round and plays big rock songs. And they got one, but they got it from Germany. And this was not even us art directing. It's called the Schlitten part. And so of course we knock out the L. And I just got such a good feeling about the film when the Schlitten part arrived. I actually really liked the lagoon. My favorite ride is the little piece of wood over there that's on a spring. Just bounce on it. <laughs> the rules at the park are few. You're actually not allowed to cut in line, but if you want to jump off a ride, you can. Every ride you see on screen is operational and they work great, and uh, sometimes people go flying off them and there's nothing we can do about it. Designing around what, the, what needed to happen for those and then taking those, working out what was safe and what was gonna kill people and kind of coming somewhere in between. It was the first port of call. <laughs> Initially for this one, we did a lot of research on colors and looks of the 70s, muting and saturating some of those colors to get that feel of an old Kodak moment and that, that kind of look. I think it's gonna be surprising to people how much depth and texture this film has, and how representative it is of the 70s and the spirit of filmmaking in the 70s. What's unique about Action Point is that it's one that's based on the amusement parks of the 70s and 80s where there were really fewer rules and things weren't as politically correct. Cars didn't have seat belts and there were no uh, caution contents hot on your coffee cup. It was, uh, it was crazy. There's no restrictions. Everybody's just allowed to have fun. It's a very dangerous place. <laughs> on, on many levels. 